Good evening, fight fans! And welcome back to the second half of Jerry's online matches. Now, I know the first half of the matches for the second season were kind of shitty. I do admit that, but that wasn't my fault. It was my camera's fault. It was set on a setting that was way too high for um, recording off of uh, the TV, so uh, that's why it was a little bit choppy. It was recording in uh, 720p, or 720p resolution, in which with this camera um, produces choppy results. Uh, and I catch that until it was too late, and I already uploaded six episodes of season two. So right now the uh, camera is set back at 360p, which means that the matches should run relatively smoothly from here on out. But without further ado, I know why you're here. I know why I'm here. I'm here to commentate on some of these fights, or, well, well, the action's kind of loud, so I'll just commentate, you know, before and after the fight. But if I could get a word in edgewise during the fight, I'll do that too. But anyway, let's see. First up, it's uh, me versus a Gen player, and that Gen player happens to be let's uh, get these two screens up. Happens to be one of my PSN friends from, I believe. I think that is, uh, no, it's in Europe. It's, it's one of the uh, countries up north. I think it's, uh, I should have researched that. I think it's Norway, Norway or Sweden. Uh, and I get I get those countries confused most most times because oh god. <laughs> but mostly I just find Asia. But this is a European match, so I hope you uh, you know you know what to do. You know how to do it. It's uh, me versus one of my PSN friends. And uh, let's see what happens in this fight. Again, he's another rare sight uh, to see online, but when you do see him, he is a treat to watch. Alright, we got a good startup. He's down to half life. Should be able to take the win if I don't mess up too badly. Okay, he's starting to slip a little bit. It's like if only this game had block damage, you know, I could do a whole lot more jury. But, you know. Do what I can. Looks like it's an Amantis stance. I know Gen has two stances, so I don't know. Oh, I do know. He has two stances, but I don't know what he can do with a, with either of them because I don't really fight him that often. I'm trying to apply pressure, but it's not working. Oh. Again, he's down to half life, but below half life. He's got full super and ultra. So, uh. Oh, uh, I see what he's about to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, this gonna look so cool. I don't care what anybody says. That ultra is badass from game. <laughs> I just love it, man. I wish Jerry had something like that, but she doesn't, but yeah, man. I know it does game. Alright. So that was Jerry getting her ass kicked. Let's see. Alright, this is a what was this fight? Okay, this is a British fight. And if you remember from before I set the uh, skill level to more skilled. So anybody you see from here on out is gonna be like you know a more skilled fighter, even though they made their um let's see battle points. But even though their battle points may be like you know like 
below mine or you know, it's just it's mostly girls with their player points though. So I guess their PP's bigger than my PP. Which is true in this case, you know, seventeen hundred versus seven hundred. And his main character is Goki and uh what's my voice cracking? His main character is Gokin, but he's using Goki. Gokin's brother in the fight. So I'm guessing he was uh kind of expecting uh Mostly characters that like to attack from the ground, but since Jiri is an aerial character, um, I guess uh, Akuma really isn't. Well, he's 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 um, gear for all types of situations, so I don't know what's gonna happen in this fight. So let's find out. See USA versus Great Britain. Here we go. I gotta find a new catchphrase. That here we go thing doesn't work, man. The Raging Demon versus Kaizen Takaraku. Pretty quick work that is round let's see what? 34 34 I about to say 34 minutes 34 seconds All right, let's like Goku attacks with the uh, basic combo for a starter go with a dive kick open them up Man, I gotta find a way, better way to get in on these people, man, for real. It's like that pill, I rely on that pill way too freaking much. But, Trigger has limited options, man. See, I think I could have teleported into, you know, I'm talking like a fight with a fight stick, but, you know, if I had a fight stick, I'd probably just teleport into an Ultra 2, get him. Alright, Jerry's down to half-life, so she's, uh, well, pretty much, uh, done in this state. She's trying, but uh, he has too much of a lead. Started out good for Jerry, but then it went sideways rather quickly. Yeah. <sighs> Boy. So I really wish Capcom would have gave Jerry a lot more uh, tools to use than what they did. I mean, if you look at her stats, um, or her skill sets compared to uh, Ibuki's, it's really, it's really downright pathetic. I mean, Ibuki has so many options to work with. Jerry only has, like, a handful, but you know, I could I could just rant on Jerry all day long because you know, even though I use her, it's kind of like a double edged sword. It's like I use her because she's cool and she's a Taekwondo character, I like Taekwondo, but at the end of the day, Capcom just just pooped all over her character. 
from the ground up. See, even in Super, she sucked. It's like her walk speed was slow as crap. Her moves did barely even connect. To her hip, like her hip blocks are shit. All oh, shit. And in AE, they're still shit. I mean, it takes like 10 seconds to pull off her Ultra. Because she talks throughout half of it. <laughs> I'm not joking, she does talk to her for her Ultra. Whereas other people like uh, Vega or, uh, or uh, Fei Long, they just uh, just snap it off, you know, rather quickly, in like three seconds and it's over. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, it's an American fight. Uh, his main character is T Hawk, but was he. Okay. But he's using Vega, so let's see what happens here. We have a T Hawk player using Vega, who is, uh, I think, an air superiority character. I'm guessing air superiority because he's always in the air. You say he's in the air most of the time. Splendid claw. I like it when he equips his mask. He equips his mask. Very patient fight. Fill a lot of pokes. I don't know, I guess they're still trying to figure each other out. It's like just because you have zero battle points doesn't mean you can't fight with your character. Okay, trying to work some footsies, but uh, you know, I just said screw it. Bit of footsies there. Nothing to write home about, but you know. Good, good, Jerry, good, good, good. Alright, now, it's like I was saying before, even though, like my opponents, even though they don't have any battle points with their character, doesn't mean they know how to use them. Same goes for player points. It's like sometimes, if the player points are low, they probably did it on purpose because I saw his main was T Hawk. Well, you don't see their main until, like, the replay channel, but this is what I'm thinking. Since his main is T Hawk, I'm guessing he had, like, a lot of bat well, player points beforehand, but somehow through maybe like another character like Vega or something he uh... 
you know, lost on purpose a lot of times, so he lowered his uh, points. I know, I think a lot of players do that. You know, they get like, they don't want their points to be too high because, you know, if they're, they're too high, they get like uh, marked by uh, other people. Well, I don't, I don't really know about that, but, you know, I guess some people lower their points on purpose just to have um, easier fights so they can level up faster, maybe. I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure. I tried doing it with Jerry, but you know, at the end of the day, I was like, you know what, f it. So, I said f it because either way, she um, since she screwed six weeks from Sunday, like six weeks from Sunday, like fight wise, it's like, eh, it doesn't really matter. And besides, since I'm still operating with a PS3 controller, um, there's not I could do. There's a lot I can do with her, but there's she. There's still so much room for improvement with her. You know, pat wise. Now on a stick, on a stick, you like just do everything. Let's see, that was, uh, okay. And if you're wondering, like, uh, for the first fight, uh, side about that Zian's finisher, Zian's finisher is eh, basically when he, uh, hits his super and ultra back to back. He hits his super first, and he hits his ultra. And he does that, um, that killer, that, you know, that cool looking move. Let's see. His second, my main. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is a fight in Mexico against a player whose main character is Blanca, one of the most annoying characters Street Fighter has ever had in this roster. Why? Electricity, Blanca balls. And that's pretty much it. With that character, just electricity and block balls. You can't. You could try and zone them, but with Jerry, since her uh, her zoning's crap, you know, you really can't do much with that unless you store her fireballs. But on a controller, it's really hard to do. You know, unless you have the time, unless you take out the time and effort to like stand still. Which in my case, since I fight a lot of people, some higher rank than me, some lower rank than me, which is a bad idea. Because most of the time, they, most of the time they use Ryu, and uh, they throw a lot of fireballs. But anyway, let's see how this match goes down. Let's see Mexico versus USA. Let's see. Hey, who's fighting? Okay, Gal versus Cherry. So what I'm going to look for in this fight is uh, basically sonic booms and flash kicks. I'm going to try and stay away from him to avoid those flash kicks and uh, kind of lure him into like throwing sonic boom so I can like get in him and uh, mess him up. Man, he's almost B rank with Gal too. I kind of like the white on Jerry. You know, Jerry when she wears white. Looks better than the black. Ah. Uh, fell for that. Alright, he's got both guns loaded with his super and ultra, so... Will this go into the third round? And it will.
Come on, Jerry, finish him quick. Put him away, put him away. Yep. Oh, come on. Set him up again, set him up again. Go, go, go. And he's dead. That almost felt too easy. Alright, so that's what? Two losses and two victories. Excellent shape. Alright. And as Jerry put it, uh, this is going to be farewell for now because this, this is at 20 minutes. This is R Strain, aka Reaper Strain 006, saying if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you dislike, hit the dislike button and tell me why, people. I like criticism. Alright. Catch you later.